I, I gotta admit, I enjoy watching the comments as it goes by because it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny stuff. What's up, guys? I got squeaky chair on deck. And before I get too off into the weeds blowing Corvettes off, let's let's make sure you guys get your fucking freak ass ASMR shit going. Oh yeah, you like that, you sick motherfucker. What's up, guys? A lot of shit to cover today. Oh my god, a lot of shit to cover today. Let me know if the sounds good. Give me the thumbs up. Give me the wrench emoji, whatever. I uh, got a couple of new members. Timothy Garenas uh, became a member. And who the fuck else? Someone else became a member. We probably took his money back after he found out that I make fun of, um, that I make fun of, uh, what's her name? Woman Driven. So real quick, let's get to it. Uh, Manuel Gomez. Uh, you know, they go through a bad uh, storm. Once it heats up, he's out there racing. So this is a 19 bullet. A 2019 bullet MT82 D4 version, um, twin turbo kit, stock motor, and this is an overlay of the Dragon. Look at the weather, 46 degrees, woo-wee. But check out what this manual, Manuel, did. I'll play it. I'm going to let it play like three times in a row. time when you feel it you wheel it <laughs> if you tell me a 10 r80 car is half as fun as that shit you're smoking fucking crack you're smoking fucking crack not even close so <laughs> the owner of the car is jd tomlinson um, Kai seems to be a good dude. Uh, they, I think they conned him into, <laughs> into, um, building the car that way. Here's the slip right here. So you guys see the slip. The draggy is dead, you know, pretty accurate. I don't know what the mile an hour is way the fuck off, but one, six, one, eighth was a six, two, nine, four, seven at, you know, big boy mile an hour, one fifty something, according to the draggy. Uh, and then let's show you the pictures of the car real quick. Uh, cause I think Brandon Vargas put up pictures of the car card looking tight, tight. And, uh, yeah, this is the car right here. JD Tomlinson's car. Badass shit. I mean, it's a nice, nice car. There's Midnight Performance Taquache Edition in the in the top up there. Um, look at that. The Bell Axe with uh, uh, Mickey Thompson ET Street Front. Got Bias Ply Hoosier. I think QTPs or something like that with the Bell Axe in the back. Looking mighty, mighty fine. Carbon doors. He gave it the whole midnight treatment. I love it. He he goes all out. Gives it the midnight treatment. And I think he uh, broke the trans like a pass or two later or something like that. Look at this thing, man. It looks pretty good. I like it. I mean, I'm not a bullet fan, but this car looks really good with the, the way it sits. With the bell axe, carbon doors, carbon trunk, carbon hood, I think. Did they do the carbon hood too? Uh, one of those guys is JD, I think. No, no stock hood. But yeah, Manuel went out there and uh, promptly went 9-4. Uh, if you want to do a micro record, I guess there's a D4 record. Now he owns it. So that was that. So uh, let me show you the pass where he broke shit. <laughs> and then we can uh, end it there. Here we go. I guess he uh, he was praying to Jesus right before the fucking pass too. Because uh, he's out there praying. Praying the trans stays together. You got to love the dude. The dude talks all the shit. But man, he's religious. He's like, Orale, va, Dios, que, que, que no se me rompa la transmisión. Uh, a hijo, el Espíritu Santo. Amen. <laughs> yep, we all know that feeling. We've broken transmissions. That's why. If you feel it, wheel it. Watch him pray to Jesus, baby Jesus. Got the helmet and the regular shirt. <laughs> no, no fires. No, no. <laughs> what is that? The iPhone mini, mini iPad? <laughs> Shit, that's a big motherfucker. Is that his phone or an iPad? 
Uh, well, anyway, it broke. So yeah, there you go. Manuel Gomez getting it done over there. So that's one of the things I wanted to talk about today. Now, I also wanted to remind you motherfuckers, because apparently you guys are pretty dense, right? You're pretty dense. So rumors are flying. Rumors are swirling. Rumors everywhere. As in, Until Lund Racing tells you something, just don't believe anything. Until Lund Racing tells you something directly, don't believe anything. I, just like I do with my friends. You know how many people said that I... Once I left like uh, Lund the first time that I stole shit, that I got this. And then when I left VMP, they accused me of doing the same shit. And I'm like, really, really, really? Um, so unless Lund tells you something, don't believe it. Now, uh, understand this. This administration does not want you to have a hot rod. This administration is going to enforce the Clean Air Act crazy. And as a reminder, gentlemen, as a reminder, if you start deleting shit, you're going to get lights and your tuner cannot shut them off legally. As a reminder, some of you guys hit me up. Hey, yo, I got codes. I'm like, cool story. Did you buy uh, headers that don't have rear O2s? Yeah, just turn them off. No, that's not how it works. And I always tell you guys, I am aiming to stay in business. So I remind you guys that if you're going to delete EVAP, CATS, if you're going to do anything, get used to having lights and if you don't like the lights the check engine lights and all these codes get some black tape and never check the codes that's the world we live in the diesel guys went through it not too long ago and they got shut down because i guess some guy was rolling coal in front of an epa agent and they're like what the hell's going on there and since i think five years five years they've been slowly going around you know gathering information i mean i remember a couple of my, my last employers and a couple of people that was attached to them they got the hello 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 we'd like to take a look at your files hello 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 you, you guys got egr deletes on the site you guys got long tubes on the site with cat deletes huh hello hello that's what it's going to come down to so as far as you guys know i've been operating lund racing has been operating as normal never was there an interruption in operations that's pretty much all we can say once we have info we'll let you guys know what the deal is but as of now nothing is affecting us currently we're actually operating as normal the hell i i saw the orders come through today and i went oh shit that was a I was, we're busy for for february you know for february we're, we're pretty busy so anyone that anyone that's out there talking all this shit i'm like okay well you know Talk shit unless you have proof, unless you were in the building, unless you were there, unless unless you're part of whatever hit squad you think hit us up. Uh, you really can't say anything. You really can't. Plain and simple. I understand they want us to go. Now, I did pose the question before. What, what does a world without Lund Racing look like? Think to yourselves. Let's say tomorrow a button is pushed and Lund Racing goes away. Who are you left with? And do you like those options? Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Because there's a lot of people out there that talk shit about Lund, talk shit about Lund, and they suck and the drivability sucks. Meanwhile, their car after a burnout takes 10 seconds to come back to idle. You hear, you hear that car? I'm like, holy shit. You got enough idle air in that motherfucker? You got enough dash pot in that motherfucker? Holy shit, talk about drivability. Shut the fuck up. So, unless you hear from us, nothing really has changed. Everything pretty much is through the money now, or on the money now. Again, as a reminder, if you, this is the, this is the world we live in, guys. This is the world we live in. If you start taking shit off your car, you are going to have to live with lights because tuners have to stay in business and they cannot do anything to alter anything that has to do with emissions, period. Period. Like, get used to it. I'm sorry. That's the world we live in. The diesel guys went through it. Now, the automotive industry has been going through it for about five years and now it's going to get ramped up because you stupid motherfuckers didn't like Mr. Orange Man. You guys didn't like Mr. Orange Man. I'm like, there you go. There you go. There you go. So, hey, you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work. I'm going to keep my nose down and do my job. I don't listen to the rumors. I don't listen to anything that's going on out there. At the end of the day, we're tuning. And things are going good. So as far as I know, everything is pretty good. Now, there's another thing I wanted to make you guys aware of that just happened um, recently. And I wanted to, I don't want to say announce it, but I wanted to kind of shine some light on it. So HP Tuners now has this thing called an RTD. 
right? An RTD, which is a remote tuning device. And John Lund put up a, a post on one of our, uh, on our, on our private page deal. And he basically said, Hey, it's available. And, uh, not right now, meaning we're going to find out how to play with it and be quirky with it. But we made the investment. We bought a bunch of these guys and started R and D them on our end. And we started going, you know what? This is something that could be a big thing and an option because obviously engage is gone. Bye bye. See ya. Bye. Gone gone so let me go to the um lund racing site quick and make sure that it's up there and i'll show you what it looks like and again once i get more information again i don't talk out of my ass i i get information and once information is being been able to be pushed out properly then i can tell you the details but as of now we're basically working with hp tuners to be able to still provide tuning services and here you go we have rtds and uh tuning packages so if you want to go to this link and just look at what's going on again this is preliminary but you're gonna start hearing rtd 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 now a lot of you guys that have used to have or have sset you use the laptop to log and the engage you didn't right so the engage goes away bye bye see you later gone and now the RTD is going to basically need a laptop and you're going to use VCM scanner to data log. And then we'll basically grow with the product and hopefully we can provide you tuning services going forward without much interruption. And that's the skinny. If anybody is spreading rumors out there, the rumors are this. I have my laptop. All my guys have their laptop. They never didn't have their laptops. We have all our cars. We have all our shit. And there was never interruption in the tuning service. So anyone that says, oh, I heard I heard they all went to jail, got butt fucked by Bubba, and then, you know, <laughs> they don't know a goddamn thing. They don't know a goddamn thing. They want it. They want the bad news. But remember, guys, if Lund Racing goes away, let's say, in an alternate universe, who are you left? Whose files are they going to copy? Who's going to help them figure out their indexing is wrong? Who's going to set records? Ho-hum high idle coming down after a burnout for three minutes <laughs> that's what you have to put up with well uh lund racing's gone so i guess i gotta put up with a car that accelerates on its own without me hitting the gas ah! Ah! the new normal so it's to your best interest to keep us in business and you know how you do that you deal with lights if you're going to delete shit. Obviously, it is illegal to delete anything. It's illegal to uh, bypass emissions. It's illegal to get rid of anything. So if you remove shit, get ready for lights. And that's it. Get ready for it. There is no alternative. Get ready for lights. You cannot bypass and and alter or defeat what, what comes in the car in terms of emission stuff. Now, swap cars, that's a whole nother conversation because that still doesn't make sense to me. But let's keep that for another day until we all have more information there you go there's a single individual and one company solely responsible for spreading the hate towards launch we know who that is come on man come on man shit you know who that is we don't even have to say the fucking names we know the deal and we get it instead of being better they want us gone right why not be better and sell more and be above us and have better tunes and set records and and be better at customer service no it's always a negative sell they suck they suck they suck they suck they suck well meet us at the fucking track and at the track we fucking dominate period <clears throat> okay uh let me get to some of the paid and then we'll talk some shit i'll go through the peasant uh because it doesn't seem like it's uh gonna be too much stuff going on here uh, if I wanted to go 12.0, 12.5 compression, do you think I should get a Gen 3 short block or stage Gen 2 and upgrade the rods and pistons? Price-wise, it's probably cheaper to get a Gen 3 short block. Price-wise, it's probably way cheaper to get a Gen 3 short block instead of the labor being involved in upgrading your current rods and pistons. Street cred mocosos comen mecos. Comen mocos. Street cred mocosos comen mocos, I think he meant, said Billy Gunn. Hey, Alex, if I have a friend with an FFE who lives in the Northeast, can he contact Lum for advice on his upcoming inspection? No! No, Brad, if you have a friend in the Northeast and he's coming up on inspection, install the inspection equipment, install all of the emissions items that need to be installed to pass emissions. There is no advice we can give you. What are we going to give you for advice? The advice is going to be install your emissions shit. That's the advice. Welcome. Welcome. You vote. You voted for this. You voted for a senile 80-year-old man that wants this to happen. And you guys are surprised that it's happening all of a sudden? 
Stupid. Get the fuck out of here. Love you, Brad. Matt, 2011 GT says, so I have to learn how to be less white and have CELs. Sweet. Yep. Less white. Look, we all want to be. I mean, don't you all want to be less white? We're cool as fuck. We don't get sunburn. It's all good. <laughs> I heard about that. I was like, oh, my. Thank God I'm off of Facebook. Um, retarded and Nick. Retarded Nick. And I won't say the last word. Said, just put tape over the lights. And if it bugs you that bad, plain and simple, put tape over the light. We're going to put a, up a link. Lund Racing is going to put up a link next to the tuning devices. There's going to be electrical tape to cover the fucking lights. So you can stop whining, you fucking bitch. If not, leave the shit alone, asshole. You know, I'm sorry. This is the world we live in. We got to stay in business. That We're not going to do anything to defeat emissions. We haven't done anything to defeat emissions. And we're definitely not going to help you pass inspection by fucking with shit. We're not going to do that. Or just move to Florida. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to. Now, EPA is federal. You know, that, that can reach. But I, I think Florida is the last free state for hot rotting. California, they do it, and them motherfuckers get fixed the tickets all the time, and they don't give a fuck, and, you know, you're going to live with tickets. Texas, whole special thing. I don't know what's going to happen with Texas in five years, but Florida, so far, is free. Hey, Alex, did you hear about the accident in Houston involving the Camaro speeding, leaving me and the rear-ending an innocent car and killing a bystander? Dude, heard all about it. Watch all the videos. My condolences go out. The dude's just standing on the sidewalk watching cars leave a meet. Camaro runs into the back of a Camry or a Tesla or something. A Camry. And the dude fucking gets on the hood and gets run over. The guy's just chilling, hanging out. Fuck that. That sucks, dude. <clears throat> Hi, not EPA agent here. May, may I have the VIN number of my fellow enthusiast cars for my registry? It says V8 or B8. By the way. Hi. I'm say you know who I'm saying hi to. Hi. How you doing? Your ass is pretty sweet, so if you ever come through, you know, we're going to have to talk. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Oh, yeah. I didn't know how far-reaching this show was until about three weeks ago. And I'm like, oh, oh, motherfuckers be, motherfuckers be watching you. So, hi, hello. <laughs> how many times have I told you, guy, don't say cat delete, say FFE, because cat delete is a bleep, bleep, bleep word. I guess people thought that I was trying to help you pass some kind of funky shit. I'm like, no, there's just certain keywords you shouldn't say. If you have it, you have it. I have always told you, if you don't have all your, if you have all your sensors in, you might get a light and you're going to live with that light. And I've said that from the fucking get go. Um, would I be able to daily on Steeda front subframe K member? Uh, are living oil short blocks okay? Will a 15 stage 3 MT82 be direct fit on a 2019? Exhaust restriction delete okay for 750 wheel. That's a good job of getting good use for his money. Would he be able to daily on a Steeda front subframe K member? Yes. Are living oil short blocks okay? They're okay. You asked if they're okay. I said they're okay. Will a 15 state 3 MT82 be a direct fit on a 19 GT? Not a direct fit. You need a different clutch. So you need a clutch for, uh, actually, you need the clutch for that trains. I think it's 23, 26 blind. I think it's 26 blind. Ben Callum, I made it 26 blind. But you will lose downshift rev matching. Bye-bye. There's no way to do anything about it. Bye-bye. Downshift rev matching is gone. The only way you can retain downshift rev matching in a 19 and up is if you have a 19 and up MT82. Period. Most of Missouri is free as can be. But it's Missouri. Fucking Missouri. Let's take a look at Missouri. How badass that fucking place is. Motherfuckers fly over that shit. Oh, I can't wait to go to Missouri. Middle of nowhere ass having ass. What the fuck you gonna do there? Go to the Mark Twain National Forest. Oh, no, no. Kansas City's pretty awesome. So Springfield, Missouri. Columbia's sick. You're next to St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that one. Let It's free because nobody's there. <laughs> Everyone just find the right place and pay 100 bucks for the inspection. Uh, it, easy. Been doing it for years in Texas. Joe Daniel, you're gonna get contacted. Excuse me, Joe Daniel. Joe Daniel, I'm going to download a knocking door, like knocking on a door. Excuse me, Daniel. Excuse, excuse me, Daniel. Uh, Party Lamarty, channel support. I look forward to more focused direction to the channel will be going. The channel will be a very focused. The amount of uploads will go up. Why? Do you never know? This, this new administration, today they can say, oh, you guys are chilling. Everything's good. And the next day they can go. Boom, switches off. You saw a tuning company recently just say, we're closing our doors. Could you imagine the amount of Lund Racing customers that are out there 
if all of a sudden, you know, shit happens and, and they say you got to go. All your revisions, your builds, everything. Bye-bye. So, obviously, you know, we're doing everything that we can to stay in business, you know. And we're busy. We're doing everything we can to maintain a uh, good tune and, and, and stay in it. But the industry itself is under attack. So, what do you do when the industry you work in is under attack? You work on a plan B. And I'm working on a plan B. You have to work on a plan B. This this has been five or six years or seven years of me cultivating this channel. So if I do a little more focus to uh, focus on it and it earns decent to pay my bills, I'm you know I'm never gonna leave Lund Racing. I'm never. Listen, I'm never leaving Lund Racing. I don't care if this channel makes a million bucks a year. I'm staying with Lund Racing. If anything does happen and the government gets froggy and does dumb shit to the performance and racing industry, I gotta have a backup. Enjoy the Coyote video today, bitch. I'm looking forward to more bendiciones. Again, if you're a member of the channel, I dropped the Mamalona. Power by the hour. Put some vel Velgen wheels, 22-inch Velgen wheels on the Mamalona. And we got some pictures of that and dropping it and everything. It looks phenomenal. So if you're a member of the channel, you have access to that video before the rest of the public has it tomorrow. Um, Missouri has Brad Bench and the Polanski brothers. Don't know who the fuck that is. Uh, Joseph Jazrex became a Toting level member. Gen 2 is King Daddy with booze. Someone says, hey, Alex, have you ever heard of Mars Auto Parts and Engine Swaps? Yes. It's almost like, uh, what's the other place that do crank up pallets? I forget their name. Hi, I'd like to, hi, Daniel with a cop says, hi, I'd like to delete my catalytic converters in my strict emission state. Can you help? I mean, that's what's going to start happening. People are going to, you know, you're going to have to just be straight with people and go, look, this is the tune. It's gonna, it's everything's on. It's, it's been like that for a very long time. Everything's on. And people start complaining. Oh, I got lights. Well, fucking get used to it, buddy. Get used to it. My car, my personal vehicle that is uh, uh, <laughs> registered to me, to me, has uh, codes because it's a production file. It has codes. And I know what the codes are and I don't care. What's good, Alex? Uh, video of Hush Money. That guy almost took out your camera when you're gonna when you're gonna take it to the track. Poor boy, not for a while. That car is not gonna be a track car. It's gonna be a street fucking stupid car. It's got a 3.5 pulley right now, so I don't want to go to the track with a 3.5 pulley and we're like a 980. That's boring as shit. I want to go there and run an eight something. So I gotta find the belt size for the 2.6, the right tire, because that DOT and uh, I'm gonna treat Palm Beach International Raceway as a no prep track. I'm going to treat it as if I'm going to a no prep track and then I'm going to bring slicks. I'm going to bring weight. I'm going to literally treat it like a no prep track so that I can just say hey, it's a no prep track. It, I went pretty good on the no prep track. What makes it worse in California is that we have the invisible inspection and also the sniffer. The invisible inspection. What's the invisible inspection, Coyote Slugger? I'm happy to be the proxy customer in Australia. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of Luntune Mustangs. No, you can't look at my shed, officer. Bleh. If they want to look at your shit, they'll look at your shit. They, they're going to come in. If you guys get a knock, they're going to come look at whatever they're going to come look at. They don't go there without having backup or proof or something. I mean, think about it. Good. Look. Previous employers of mine, previous employers of mine were visited. You didn't hear about that. You didn't hear anyone popping off about that shit, but they were visited. And nothing happened. They, 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 I think they paid a fine and complied and see you later. A little support for the channel. Caught your live late last night. Hopefully one day Lund will change their policy and you will tune my Mustang. As John said, no desire tuning a handicap platform from the get-go. The can is, what did we have, a Cobra? Do you have a Cobra? A handicap platform? Do you have a Cobra? Do you have an EcoBoost? What do you have? Twin Turbo that bit. Um, I know. Uh, the, the Fairmont should be Twin Turbo eventually. Why is that? You won't tune Roush blowers. I'm out of the loop. Thanks. The Roush blower. Well, the RTD might change things. The RTD from HP tuners might change things. But as of now, as of now, uh, we don't care about tuning Gen 3 cars with a Roush blower. Because not only is it a dud... Um, we just don't want to have to reconfigure our files for that. Now, if the RTD becomes a thing and we primarily start tuning with the RTD because it replaces the N gauge and we get good with it and then we can start, you know, offering you guys, um, a wider range Ford only, of course, uh, of tuning that we previously couldn't, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. 
Um, ba, 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 ba. Kenisha Davis at 900. Okay. Your thoughts on blow by racing single turbo kit, 19 auto rear horsepower, 600, 900. What do I need to do to transmission? Hold this power paid. Paid question, not available. Oh, not available? Okay. Um, I don't have any issue with blow by. I've seen their kit make 800 pretty easily. There's a little bit of a back pressure issue with that kit that, that, that I've seen. Um, don't expect to make it, have it make 900 easily, to be honest, because we've seen back pressure issues with that kit. <clears throat> um, I'm happy to practice. Sir. Hey, Alex, says James Bunkley. Um, my 6RED and my 16 GT went out, and I was looking to swapping a used F-150 trans until I get mine built. What would I have to do to swap it in? Just get a Gen 2 F-150 transmission, and it should be the same or need minimal stuff to make it work. The trans in the red car right now, naturally aspirated, is a Gen 2 F-150 transmission. Phil says, channel support, thanks for helping me convert my Mustang to hydrogen. The EPA should give you tax breaks. This, wasn't that awesome when I, when I helped you convert it to hydrogen and all you got to do is fill it up with water and it just drives everywhere? You're welcome. See, Bethany, sweet little ass on you. 2011, 2011 GT500, 69,000 miles for 30,000 in SoCal. Hit me up. Uh, at KXV22 underscore. Nice. Selling, selling. Very nice. Some Camaro guy lost to a VMP Mustang and turned them in. <laughs> Black Light says, SCT also settled a lawsuit. Exactly. Um, Coyote Slugger says, my bad visual inspection. Exactly. Tuning companies were hit. Uh, device manufacturers were hit. So this is nothing new. They're just going down the line. So understand this. If you you tune in the United States. It's happening. Hello? Hello? We know everything. Hello? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, nothing. Oh, comply. You know? It, it's been happening since 2000, since the last two years of the Obama administration. Nothing around Daddy Trump. Nothing around Daddy Trump, and then your boy Biden comes in and forgets everything, and uh, well, he ramps it up again. <laughs> Crazy shit. Someone says cool story. Advice for someone with a Gen Two car that needs another motor. Best best to buy a Gen Three short block, and what's the best route? Cow Kwawun Kwawun. What the fuck kind of name? Q U A W N. Hey, Decanus, what, what, is, what is the platform you're talking about? You paid 100 bucks. I don't want to just brush you off like that. But what? He says, 2020 GT Mustang Roush Stage 2 bought from a dealer with it installed. Yeah, we don't fuck with it. <clears throat> Not yet. We don't fuck with it. It is already handicapped because the IATs are through the roof with it, dude. It has a IAT, I think, ETC function when in air temps get over like 140, which happens like right when you start it. Uh, it, it like limits throttle. Okay. Stop buying Roush equipped Gen 3s. How about cut the bullshit with the fucking warranty shit? Buy one with a Whipple, buy one with a Pro Charger. You know, rest in peace to your crank. Uh, stop buying Roush blowers. Alex, you can't tell people to buy Roush. <laughs> okay, I'm saying it in a. Okay. Not Alex from Lund Racing. Not Alex from Lund Racing. Okay, oh shit, the, the logo said, hold on, hold on. Someone else has to talk. Wait, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, he was wearing a, he was wearing a, a lunch shirt when he said that. So we think it's lunch. Okay, well check this out. Uh, here you go. Hey guys, stop buying Roush blowers Gen 3. Stop buying a Gen 3 F-150 with a Roush blower. Stop buying a Gen 3 Mustang with a Roush blower. Sorry, Lebanon Ford. Sorry. It's a piece of fucking shit. Now, if we eventually have the ability to tune that, we'll tune it. But right now, it's fucking handicapped. Why are you buying that shit? It's got a... It's got a warranty. Come on, man. What the fuck's wrong with you? Don't you know? If you watch this show religiously, this fucking tag is pissing me off, bro. If you watch this show, this is an XL. No one is kind of big. If you watch this show religiously, why the fuck are you buying a Gen 3 Roush car? Oh, it's only $5,900. And the opening is this big and the cold air is 105 millimeter. Does that scream power to you? No, it screams fucking gay. 
Sorry, Roush. It's shit. You built a dud. And I'm going to tell people you built a dud. Because they're going to waste their fucking hard-earned money on a car that can get beat by a 10R80 NA car on E85. Matt 760's car can beat a Roush-tuned, Roush-blown Gen 3 car 10R80. Bet me on that shit. Bet me. Uh, if anyone needs W85, hit me up. 85% water. W85. Hi, Alex. I have no pump 85 available near me. Should I use Fuse or Ignite? I heard somewhere Ignite leaves deposits. Any input would be appreciated. I have seen Ignite leave deposits. I have seen Ignite. And again, I'm sure Ignite's going to hit me up. Jesus Christ. I've seen Ignite leave deposits, like a reddish deposit in the pump. Mikey was doing a... Uh, a, a fuel system on a guy, a local guy, Granino's car, and he was using Ignite exclusively, and the fucking pumps got pretty much destroyed because it left. It's red, it's red, and and the pumps had this red stuff. The bottom of the tank had this red stuff. It's almost like there's Torco in it, and I'm like, what? Why is it? It, it, it does this? It leaves the same residue as Torco would. So I, I would not. I, I would. I wouldn't run Ignite red. Maybe they have another product that's just clear and normal. But honestly, I. I wouldn't run Ignite Red. Um, follow me on London Engage used, market unlocked, and ready to go. Hoping to hit you guys up soon for a tune 2020 GT Austin Maynard. Awesome. Thank you very much. Jace, Joseph Jas, Janasek gave me five bucks. Thank you, sir. And Fast Rider 46 gave me five bucks. Thank you. And Timothy Garion says 2012 GT500 6 ID VMP Gen 2 E85 full fuel system with ID 1700s. Damn. With an Engage. Can I get a revised tune and ballpark on the time? Tim. Put it in now, and you should get it within two to three business days. It's Tom Hathaway, new Turbo Smart eBoost 2, never used, went Holly instead. 475, hit me up as interested. It's now a for sale board. There you go. Hit up, hit up Tommy Hathaway if you need an eBoost. <clears throat> um, Joseph says, I have a 14 CJ and a Paxson Novi 2200 and want to be prepared. If the block goes, Gen 2, the best replacement for something with boost that will always be on the street. Is the Gen 2 the best replacement? Yeah, I think the Gen 2. But the thing is, finding a Gen 2 short block is going to be tough. You can find a long block, but then you have to transfer all your cam stuff over to the Gen 2 long block, and then it'll be a pretty stop motor. Jeremiah Camp did that. That's exactly what Jeremiah Camp did that in a roll race event not too long ago. He went 143, and he thought, I could do maybe high 130s. Fuck, went 143. It was flying. Joe Biden has cankles, says my 2011 GT. Uh, <laughs> that dude... Is so frail looking. I cannot. If anyone on my chat voted for Biden, be a man. Put your hand. Put put your hands up. Who voted for Biden on this chat? Seven hundred and seventy-one people on right now. Who voted for Biden? Put your fucking hand up. Let's see. Let's see who's got the balls. Because hey, you know, put your hands up. You voted for Biden. I'll get you gone so quick. <clears throat> if you had to sell all your cars but one, which one would you keep and what would you do with it uh, with the bit of the cash that you had? I'd keep the Fairmont. I'd keep the Fairmont because that has emotional uh, emotional value. And I would uh, mini tub it. I'd put a real cage in it. I'd probably twin turbo it and run as fast as I can. Actually, under Trump administration, the diesel guys were taking a hit. And annoying because... Can't get a retune for my truck since the truck has big weight reduction US. Well, there you go. And that was happening from the previous. It was just carryover. And under under Trump, the, we weren't getting touched. Nothing. I love this shit, says Joe Daniel. I voted for Daddy Trump. Los chic los chic chic chiqui carros? What the hell says? US Trump, US Trump. Saudi wants Trump. I can't vote, bitch. I can't vote. Are you legal? Are you legal? Put them up, bitch asses. We watch from Canada. Gotcha. Trump. No way. Trump here. Any update on your speeding ticket? March 16th is the date. March 16th. I have the court date and I'll let you know what happens there. Hell no, nah, Alex. My Roush blower doesn't see over 110 IT. Thanks, killer chiller. Put some respect, bitch. Y'all hit up the channel. <laughs> you put so, so you had to buy a killer chiller for that thing to be what normal uh, Gen 2 Roush blowers used to run at. That's that's the problem. If the killer chiller allows it to get up to 110, that's a problem. Um, yo, Alex, first time catching it live and long time lurker, both channels. Big Rob. I'm a big dude. Uh, what has more interior room, an S197 or an S550? Thinking 11 to 12 GT500 Boss or PPS550? S550 by far. Actually, I drove the GT500 to the grocery store today. Because I wanted to, you know, just drive it, you know, turn it on and move it around. It looks so good. I cleaned it up. It fucking shit. It looks wet, wet. Um, 
it ha- it feels like it has more room than the S550. Mm. I get in the S550 and I'm more comfortable. I'll give you that much. It is more comfortable in the S550, but the S197 felt roomy. And I was like, yeah, yeah I think it's similar. I, I, I think you're more comfortable in the S550 overall, to be honest with you. Um, Ernesto Gonzalez says, Alice, I have free-flown exhaust, and when I get an emissions test, I get those O2 sensor bungs with the L-curve. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, pass every time. Getting both marts and tuned by lung, will that be a problem? You should have codes. <laughs> Your shit should have codes. And don't say it doesn't have codes. You know it had codes, motherfucker. Uh, again, he just, t- I didn't tell you how to do it. Ernesto Gonzalez, EPA, hit him up. Don't hit me up. Hit up Ernesto Gonzalez. He he was the one that ratted out everyone how to how to help shit. Defeat the vices. <laughs> oh shit. Um, hey Alex, hope all is well. Just got done with 10 hours of safety council refinery bullshit. Oof. Boy, God love you with all that bullshit. Hi Alex, 2016 Mustang Auto Packs and 33 Pull N85. What spark plugs do you recommend? NGK 6510 gapped really, really tight. I have a 33 pulley. NGK 6510's got the 24 thousands. No problems. You called it Lebanon Ford, but the car was a retirement gift. Oh, the cans. Well, you know, I get it. Look, hang tight. Hang tight. I understand there's other tuners, and you might want to go to other tuners, and I get that. And some people are loyal to Lund. They're like, I don't want to get tuned by anyone but Lund. I appreciate that. But you understand that blower specifically is a dud, and we're trying to help you. But maybe in the future, if this RTD takes off and we actually really start, uh, you know, making waves with it like we did with the N-Gage back in the day, you know, we might be able to support it in the future. Brian Parasa gave me five bucks and said, I got them thinking Andrew Baker became pulty level. Who didn't vote at all? That was the problem. The people that didn't vote, they just stayed home. Those motherfuckers caused the issue. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Uh, who didn't vote at all? Everyone says MAGA. Okay, so we got Trump guys here. Again, I'm not one or the other, but in this election, there was a very clear choice. There was a very clear choice. And if you voted... Because of anything else but 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 policy, fuck you in the ass. If you voted anything else this year but policy, fuck you in the ass. If you voted with your emotions and your asshole because your asshole hurt because Papi Trump said he grabbed the thing. I like I said on my uh, Saturday show, Sunday show, drink bleach, bitch. Drink bleach. Channel support for both channels. Bicho Tasso says Nestor Berrios. Keep up the great content. I'm okay with saying I was a noob, but knowledge is power. All I'm trying to do here, on, on some real shit, all I'm trying to do is educate the masses. And in an entertaining way. I'm just trying to entertain you motherfuckers. And the problem is, I'm a lightning rod. And I'm okay being a lightning rod because I can take that shit. And I can dispel any rumors. Again, again, for those of you that want an update, we have been working the whole time. We never got interrupted we, I have my laptop, junior, senior, everyone has their laptop. All the cars are at the shop. Nothing, nothing has happened like you've heard. I mean, you guys are just trying, I'm trying to quell the rumors, but I get it. Some people, just, oh, I heard this happened. Well, I'm telling you, it didn't go down like you think it did. Casey, 526, La Mami Chula. She's here, 299. Give me some super sticker shit. Awesome. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go overnight some arroz con gandule, papi chulo. Go Eagles, uh, 171. What's the best uh, front splitter for my 14 Mustang? Trying to get the actual downforce for road racing. I like the Laguna Seca one. I really like the Laguna Seca front splitter. It actually works. Okay, look at that. Bam, it knows what I'm trying to say. The Laguna Seca front splitter, in my opinion, is the best one for S197 and the best looking one. Everything else sucks cocks and dicks. Look at that. Yeah, man, that's that's hot shit. Real hot girl shit. <laughs> That's what I like. Yep. Art, the, 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 that splitter is sexy, bitch. So, yeah, do that. Do that up. That's, that's the one, in my opinion. Biden voters were already in the graveyard. <laughs> the whole system is crooked. What's the point of voting? This last election was rigged big time. I, 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 I don't care. Get out there anyway. If you're thinking that and you're staying home because of that, then you're literally doing exactly what the op- opposition wants, staying home. Um, but the blower says Ford on it. That's why I'm keeping it. <laughs> oh, so you know how many used TVSs are like out in the trash? And then they're like, oh, oh no, we should have kept it. That 2.3 is pretty hot. I'm going to overnight. I already got that. Hey, Alex. 
I'm really torn between a Paxton and a non-3 twin kit. Living in Colorado, so altitude hurts. Currently have Nitrous 2014 and PA2 car. <clears throat> the Paxton, you're going to have to run like a 3.6 or lower pulley to feel it up in the uh, altitude. The on-3 kit is going to have some fitment issues. It is cheaper. It makes power, but it is an on-3 kit. So it's going to have on-3 kit issues. What, what do you mean some guy at on-3 right now? Fuck you, man! I'm like, no, dude, I'm sorry. Put it on. It's not straightforward. We, You got to do some some finagling. I get it. You know, you got to like remove the motor to put it in and shit. <laughs> really, though, it makes power. It's cheap, but it's an on three kit. Plain and simple. Um, Trump 2016, Trump 2020, now waiting to vote for him. 2024, look at him go. Well, Lund support my HP tuners, MPVI2 looks exactly like the RTD unit. I don't know. I think so, but the RTD is remote tuning device. The MPVI, I think y y you guys would have access. I think we would send out. See, the thing is we don't. The RTD sends out a different file, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't send out a file you can open and edit. Not yet, anyway. Again, I don't know so much about it, so I'm not going to talk about it. I'm just letting you that, letting you know that there is a backup plan, and we're working with HP Tuners. We have been. Actually, this was going on for over a year and a half. We'd had these units just chilling, a lot of them, R&Ding them on the cars. You know, we, we do the vetting process. We, we don't just say... Oh, we got something new here. Buy it from us here. Just fucking buy it. No, we we go, okay, look, there's a buy-in. Bought it, R&D them, fuck with them. And then is this good for us? Is this good for our customers? And then we offer it. There's a huge long process. It's not like you just find a device, you think it's different, and you just say, here, this is the new hot shit. And then you figure it out. That's irresponsible in my opinion. I'm gay and I didn't vote for him. There you go. I'm gay and I didn't vote for him. Oh, for uh, the blue life. He's gay. So look at this, guys. See, we have gay people on the channel and we're good. I I'm, I actually hope he's gay because, you know, it would give me cred. <laughs> 10R80, LTH, E85R, Circle D, Drag Pack, Stock Weight. How fast do you think it would be in the quarter? Tens possible? Yes. High tens on a cold day for sure. Uh, DeSantis 2024, if Trump doesn't want DeSantis is a uh he's a godsend i i fear i fear for his safety because he's so good he's so good but the problem is if he goes away who the fuck is gonna be in florida wait some 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 cuck ass bitch no nah, i'm good uh but i like him i like him a lot when he talks i'm like that guy just makes sense um, Alex, if you had an S550 with a built manual trans would you ever try running a radio at the track or keep it strictly bias ply what you think bias ply because in order to run a drag radio, you have to run a slipper clutch. And the slipper clutch only goes on certain transmissions, like a G101 or some badass T56. That is big money. $10,000 plus dollars clutch and trans. I'm not willing to play that game. Is it okay for the oil in my car to smell a bit like ethanol when I need 85? Yeah. It smells like gas when you're on gasoline. You ever drain your oil and you go, oh, it smells like gas. Same thing. It's just now the fuel that you're burning is there's going to be some that gets by the cylinders and gets into the oil pan. Not a lot. Not enough, not a lot, not enough to dilute it unless, you know, you got your built motor, you got somewhere down south, <laughs> but, but it should be okay. That's normal. I voted for Biden. I own an LS. That makes a hundred percent sense. Jordan Walsh, if you have an LS, I understand you voted for Biden. Don't tell me you didn't. You have an LS. Um, going tenor with the crank support on my Whipple 2018 GT 16 PSI right now. Um, with the six rip, can I go 17 TPSI building the engine in the fall? Uh, you mean with a 10 rib, can you go with 17, 18 PSI? Yes. With a six rib, probably not. Is there a reason Holly Terminators can't control a 6R80 trans? Nothing can control a 6R80 trans better than the Ford Racing, Ford Racing Control Pack and the stock computer. It's very intricate, and none of the aftermarket companies have it figured out at all. If you saw all the shit that was in the calibration for the 10R80, your mind would be blown. The only company I trust to do that currently is Motec. But that's a $7,000 fucking ECU if they come out with it. Um, isn't there any reason how... Okay, DeSantis' is goat talk does not put up with the media. I love DeSantis. He's goaded as fuck. Alex, can you give us... Can you give USA a YOLO douchebag rant? I'm still laughing from your e-break rant. What? Can you give USA quick YOLO 
Dilla. What is this? Do you think I'm just gonna go, oh, okay, let me just flip a switch and become YOLO. What the fuck's wrong with you? And that, all the videos that are released recently, they're six years old. They're six years old. I don't, I, I don't, there, there's no YOLO, you know when YOLO douchebag makes a comeback? If tuning goes away. If the performance and racing industry uh, goes to shit, I'm gonna shove all the wrenches up my ass, in my pee hole, and YOLO douchebag makes a huge comeback. Fuck it. Shelby Dave, everybody. <laughs> Still tuning in California. I think there is a way of like, you have to sign some kind of waiver, if I'm not mistaken. SoCal Bronco, you have to sign a waiver. Uh, AJ Nasty wants to know, hey, Alex, what city countries do you recommend that are really nice to live out your way? He plans to move out there. You're welcome, AJ. Um, AJ, if you move to Florida, and for all of you guys that are living in lockdown states, I'm going to talk to you for real now. So I'm going to avoid a bald, bald bullshit. South Florida is very expensive. I'm not saying, eh, I'm saying it's really expensive to live down here. But the reason I stay here is because there's money and I have made really good friends here. I don't see me moving from this area anytime soon. It's wonderful here. The weather is beautiful. The water is blue. There's waves. There's bitches. There's Lambos. There's boats. There is money. You are one or two degrees away from big money, big money. So I'm not going to leave the area when I can make more money in this area. You got to be around money to make money. Opportunity comes up. People like you. People want to support you. If they don't have money, or if I live in the sticks somewhere, I'm not going to come across any money. So how am I going to make money if there's no money in that area? So South Florida is very expensive. Anything south of Port St. Lucie, get ready to pay big money rent, traffic. But West Palm, Del West Palm to Delray to me is a nice spot. Further north, Jupiter is adult and expensive. Port St. Lucie is full of Puerto Ricans and, house and, and shitty houses. Plain and simple. That's Port St. Lucie. Puerto Ricans and shitty houses and cops that work in Palm, Be um, Palm Beach Gardens. So if you go west, Naples, Sarasota, boring as shit, everything closes at nine, there's retirement, nothing but retired people there, old people. Further north, Bradenton, Tampa, it sticks, it's kind of podunk-ish, it's starting to get Georgia-ish, but you can get a lot more for your money up there. If you're going to try to work in that area, it's going to be difficult because there aren't many things in that area, like industry or anything like that, that warrant big money. If you work in the boating, automotive, or anything, South Florida is where it's at. There's Bentley, Lambo, Mercedes dealerships up the ass. There's just so much shit down here that you can make money down here. But someone like me that makes his money remotely, I can work anywhere and make the same amount of money. But if I don't grow my channel and I want to grow what I do on the side, I'm going to stay in this area because there's money here. So Orlando's full of Puerto Ricans and Disney and the mouse. Jacksonville's podunk, but very big, but very country. And it's basically South Georgia. That's the way I look at it. You're welcome. Um, finally got my CO2 set up. And Carl will be ready real soon. Coming out to gap people. Cuban Coyote talking that shit. Yo, Cuban, someone was talking shit on the KOK crew. King of Kings. You got you to hit him up. <clears throat> my engage doesn't calibrate properly no matter what I do. Any way to replace a screen or what would you recommend? Gauge calibration doesn't fix it. Hey, Brian... Peraza, send us an email. Uh, we'll see what we can do for you. Maybe we can do some tips and tricks, but send us an email, support Ellen Racing, and see what we can do. Run 275, 35, 20 square setup on a 650 real horse car. Uh, 10 R80, 355. Should I go 305, 35, 20 drag radio on the rear and stay 275, 30 drag radio? Thanks. I do a 305, 35, 20 in the rear. That's what I have, and it's perfect. What does it mean on Lund Racing page when it says no LF HPT conversion? No meaning... I don't think we can uh, convert a HP tuners engage to a Lund Racing engage. So if you have an HP tuners engage, you're stuck with HP tuners, and we might be able to support them on a case by case basis. We do not do it in mass. Okay, that product is gone, so it's increasingly difficult to have conversion tools and all this stuff happening. So if there is no conversion available, meaning you have an HP tuners engage, there's no conversion available. You either sell it and buy a used Lund Racing one on the market somewhere, hopefully. I'm a member just supporting the show. Love what you do. We'll watch the replay tomorrow. Thank you, Ernie Montalbo. I really, really appreciate anyone that supports my stupid channel. It's dumb. It's stupid. Uh, but it's fun. And I love it. And I can come here and dispel rumors and call walking potatoes out on their bullshit. I can call out walking potatoes out on their bullshit. 
Uh, 16 GT with basic bolt-ons, and I'm an 18 Manny. Doing a stage 3 comp camp soon. Would you recommend doing CJ and PMS or weight reduction first? Weight reduction first. It's cheap. It costs nothing. Hey, Alex, if I take off the... <laughs> Ricardo Simon. Ricardo Simon, you're a fucking retard. I love you. What a stupid question. Shut up, Ricardo, says Brett Burke. Normal for cam to stall during idle? Oh, yeah. Uh, don't put anything in your pee hole. Uh, so, Motec... 150 to power the 6R80. I don't know yet, but I if if like I said, and again, guys, listening comprehension. I didn't say Motec is doing anything right now. I'm saying if I trust anybody to control the 6R80 properly is going to be Motec. Take the compliment, Alex. Uh, the people who don't know what those old YDBT videos are from 2014 proves you haven't aged much over the last seven years. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but I, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys saying that. The, but the Yolo douchebag stuff does not make me money. That Yolo douchebag character was a broke, sad boy. Broke, sad boy. Once I started doing tech stuff and acting like myself, that's when I started gaining traction. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Cuban Coyote says, anyone in here that got a problem with KOK can hit me up when we got a car for anything. Head the fuck up. Don't be asking for space. Ooh. Okay, come on. You know what he just did? <laughs> Uh, where is it? Oh no! Oh no! Where is it? Oh no! Where to go? <laughs> I'm. I, where is it? Okay. Yeah. Cuban Coyote came in a little too high power. <laughs> I love it. Take this off. Oh, okay, you're coming that? a little too high oh, power. No, no, no. Yeah, he came in a little too high power. He, <laughs> he's looking at you know what? <laughs> what the fuck? What's up, nigga? Hey. You want this problem? Hey. <laughs> he's ready. <laughs> he wants to squabble. Freaking A, he wants to squabble. <laughs> oh, shit. Beef and, be, Beth, Beef and EPA became a member. <laughs> Bitch a level. I got the EPA becoming members. Pay me. And hey, Bethany. Oh, he meant Bethany. Bethany EPA. Hey, you're looking pretty fine, baby. You could come by my house and... Check my shit out anytime. I'm sorry. Where do you keep your equipment? In my bedroom. Close the door behind me. <laughs> Unzip my shit. Oh, I really shouldn't be doing this. Seduce her. Film it. Use it as, uh, what do you call it? Uh, blackmail. Your agent came in and fucked me. <laughs> You see Mustang Stank Life took a dig at Lum for PBD? Who? Who? Let me see. Let me see. Send me a fucking link. Send me a link. Anyone talking shit on Lund? Send me a fucking link. Talk shit on you all fucking day and it's true. And it's true. Send me a fucking link. Anyone that talks shit on Lund. Send me the fucking link. I have new Black Magic 10 inch slipper clutch sitting here for MT82. Just gotta send my trans out to Calamar for the stage three goods. Mine is 26 spline, but they can do a 23 spline for a standard MT82. There you go. So, hey, Bondo, if you don't mind me asking, Bondo, hey, Bondo, if you don't mind me asking, how much is that clutch? How, how much is that clutch? Is it expensive or what? Jet esque gave me a little cool sticker. Cool. What? Mantic clutch should I get for 750 to 800? I know they have a couple of different ones. The twins fine, most slide. The twins fine with the uh, sprung hub, so it's quiet. The unsprung hub just makes the discs loud. Everything's just loud in the training. <clears throat> McLovin, uh, recommendations for front drag brakes for S197 to lose some weight. Have Brembo's now, street strip, car, non daily. So, uh, what is the name of that one that BL Fab, uh, uh, um, the guys that. Um, the guys at uh, Billet Pro Shops sell. Those are the ones. You could use Bear, Bear Brakes, Aerospace, but there's these new ones that people tend to like. They're super light. They're super well made, but I forget their name, and uh, Billet Pro Shop sells them. <clears throat> um, 2400 for the Black Magic Clutch. Ouch. I mean, it's not cheap. Bound the Bird didn't know they made a clutch for the MT82. Send a link. There you go. Bound the Bird, send a link, brother. <clears throat> uh, Juan Resenda says, Mustang Lifestyle is a bitch-ass no-neck having pussy. I mean... I couldn't have said it better myself. Watching while releasing the Chinese Kraken. It's it's Mustang Lifestyle New video. I don't watch that shit. I don't watch that shit. I, why would I watch that fucking shit? <laughs> like, like, the GD500 hasn't... Like, Homeboy is failing... So, he is failing Whipple. He is failing everybody with that car. 
And I'm like, I tried to give homeboy advice. But if he goes out there and starts talking shit on Lund, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. You better keep Lund's name out of your fucking mouth, bro. Do you know why certain people don't mention me or Lund publicly? I got shit on them. So don't make me get shit on you. I'll find out shit. I got shit on you. I, I think they think they got shit on me. And I'm like, okay, let's go. Do it. This might be one of the best chats ever. Joe Daniel. <clears throat> EPA guys showed up that should have been curb stomped in front of their mother. Wow, Jesus Christ. No, no. The EPA guys are just doing their job and blah, 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 blah. And we do not want any violence. <laughs> <clears throat> to my race car or I'll let... I'll, or my new other tuner, no power, babe. Just kidding. Lund for the win. Enjoy peasantry over some dinner. Esteban Gutierrez said. He said PBD tunes make real power. I mean, look. I think we have every record. Ever, ever. Like every record you could think of. Unless you micro record the shit out of it. 6R80 record, we got. Like all gens. Like all gens. All gens, right? Uh, the blower 10R80 record. We probably don't have the Nitrous 10R80 record. <laughs> and if we do, I'm sure one of the guys uh, can speak up on it. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, call me crazy. I, I haven't seen anyone else compare to what we do, right? So usually the guy that's down, like there's tuners out there that call us out nonstop and they're nobodies. And they try to become somebody when the big guy looks down at them. It's like an elephant walking through the forest and an ant goes, fuck you, elephant. Fuck you, you suck. I'm better than you. The elephant doesn't even know what's happening. He just keeps trotting through the forest. But if the ele elephant stops, looks at the ant, and goes, fuck you, ant. Now he has brought himself down to the ant's level. Why the fuck would he do that? Me, I'm like the tail of the elephant. I swat flies, you know. <laughs> I'm right by the shit. You know, just in case shit pops off, I can swing. Um, with the government shutting down Hot Roddy makes me this great quote. We are only as strong as we are united and we speak. Okay. We are only as strong as we are united and as weak as we are divided. I'm telling you, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be um, uh, free for all because everyone's fucking selfish. Everyone is fucking selfish. <laughs> Everyone is selfish, you know, because they're going to look out for themselves. They go, like, we got you, buddy. We got you. And then all of a sudden they're like, yoink. <laughs> Everyone is self-serving motherfuckers. Uh, moral of the story, fuck, fuck the ants. <laughs> KC526. Y'all have the Nitrous 10 or, 8, 10 or 80 record. So we got the Nitrous 10 or 80 record, the Blower 10 or 80 record, the Turbo 10 or 80 record. 6 or 80 record, Blower 6 or 80? No, I think Blower 6 or 80 is someone else. Uh, that's probably it, right? And uh, MTD2, <laughs> I mean, that, Ben Calmer was tuned by Rev Auto, so that's, but then I think someone else beat that. Uh, I don't know. I, I, it's like, why would you talk shit on us when they don't know shit? Remember, Homeboy was the one that said 30 degrees was okay on a 2020 GT500. Homeboy from Mustang Lifestyle said, eh, it's okay 20 degrees on a 2020 GT500 at... 20 something pounds of boost it's all it's all good the low compression it's all good okay oh all good the one that went eights the one that went eights the other night i think at less than 22 call me crazy oh but if you had 30 and it would have been with just get out of here aunt get out of here you fucking aunt get out of here but the, uh yeah going for the stock gen one blower record eights coming soon says just a 5 -0. Um, who are the four bitches who voted this stream down? Uh, probably everyone who you're talking about. That whole crew. Look, every single guy that hates me and Lund is my number one fan. They know what you're doing. They follow you incessantly. They are up on the chat. They get notified every day what I, what the, what I said to them or about them or in general. They're my number one fan. So I got to give them a shout out. Thanks, guys. You're my number one fucking fans. You have nothing to do but watch what some Puerto Rican guy in West Palm Beach is saying. And every single time I see you in person, you ain't doing fucking shit. Where the fuck are you? You ain't doing fucking shit. I dare you do some shit. No fucking way. No way. Crazy. 
acted crazy. Never do any shit in person. Um, yo, you don't give yourself enough credit. You're the reason I watch, Alex. <laughs> Poor boy. Nah, I mean, look, <clears throat> I, I'm a lucky guy that I was able to get hooked up with companies at the right time. Look, every company I've been involved with, luckily, everything was going pretty damn good. Um, unfortunately, the industry, I see it turning pretty quickly and everyone just being selfish about it and they're going to protect their own necks. I can't blame them for that. But I mean, look, imagine tomorrow or whenever it goes down, something goes down, the whole industry gets shut down. I got so much shit to talk. I got a year's worth of stories, shit that happened. Oof, nobody's safe. Nobody's fucking safe. The only thing keeping me from popping off is I like, I really like working for Lund Racing. Great guys, and I don't want to put them in any kind of trouble because anything I say apparently becomes like official Lund Racing news. Why are you fucking stupid? Uh, I don't hate you, Alex. Your number one fan says Zane Blevins. I know his name. Um, agreed. SVT performance. What does say SVT performance? What does he? What did SVT performance say? It takes. It makes it even worse that some in the industry rat on others to the EPA. Yup. It's dude rats. Cheesy and crack ass rats. Them motherfuckers cannot beat us straight up. No one can beat people I'm involved with or me straight up. Straight up. Head the fuck up. Head the fuck up. You cannot hang. You want a car or two. You want a car or two. You want to put sugar in my gas tank. You never want to go head up. Why? Because I'm better than you. And the company I work for is better than you. So I'm challenging you to be better than us. And you can't. So what do you do? Rat motherfucker. Hey, those guys are doing something. We can't beat them at Toonie somewhere. Fucking rat fuck, you rat fuck. Smell like cheese in this motherfucker. You rat fuck. That's right. They rat. They don't know how to beat you straight up, so they rat. They do bitch-ass shit. Pull up! They ain't gonna pull up. You know what happens when they pull up. They want the back tire and the hit, says Mon Motor Ray. Head the fuck up! <laughs> Divide and conquer is their motto. Politicians are for sale and someone is always buying. Channel support, thanks for being the tech talk and entertainment. You're welcome, Michael Merck. Ricky Rick. Would triple 285s be overkill on 18 GT with a Whipple? Aim for a thousand or whatever it takes to go 899. Yeah, that's probably overkill. Two 285s would do plenty, but it's nice to have the third on Hobbs just in case. Hey, Alex, can Lund add a data log channel or recalibrate the speed sensor input or redrive shaft speed? I'm working on a turbo S197 with a G101 and a black magic clutch. Need that clutch slip data. You can analog anything into the N gauge or an SET as long as you know the proper formula. And then it spits out the data. Lund is not going to just automatically add something on a config unless we know the tooth count, unless we know the transfer function, unless we know the sensor you're using. So we need a lot more data. August Corum says, long time ghost watcher of both channels. I appreciate the content. It gets me through the graveyard shift. Thank you very much. I appreciate you for watching. The graveyard shift sucks. Look at all the rats on the page. Look at all the rats. What's with you and rats? Squirrels lately. Rats and squirrels. You saw that? You saw that squirrel get up on my Fairmont? I'm like, shit. I don't trust you. I know what you're trying to look at. I'm trying to look at this data log. Uh, <laughs> Stock Gen 1, want to do on three twins? How far can I go with pump 9193 before going all out and a new fuel system? Do I need new injectors for 9193? You need at least a, I, I would always do a thousand cc injector. I always want headroom. So then you buy the injector once. And then you, if you want to go 85 later, you buy the fuel system. On 9193, you're probably going to be at about 650 to 680 safely. But pump gas is the culprit. Right now, Ben Calamer, Summer gas, he was having a good old time with his Whipple 19 shift and everything good. Winter blend, fucking knock sensors go to shit. And I'm like, dude, why are you racing the car on winter blend gas? He's like, well, hey, I used to drive it up before and it was fine. Now it's winter blend, ga winter blend gas. On an on three twin turbo kit with 91 octane, now you have the wildly inconsistent uh, quality of pump gas to contend with. I'd rather not fuck with that. Do you know what I am saying? I'd keep it at 650 on pump gas. <clears throat> <laughs> the chat's the chat's hilarious.
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, the guys on the chat are obviously monitoring my chat. Uh, Lund Racing, they're just watching. Show me your log, Be Beth and EPA. Bethany PA, oh my God, she said, show me your log. I'll show you my log, Bethany. I tried to watch one of his videos and I can't stand the shades even worse when he takes them off with his shit colored eyes, FTP. Okay, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. 5 a.m., 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., love love Tuesday's live stream, but it always, I always miss a Sunday chat. Scroll was looking for the standalone tune. <laughs> oh my god look at look at insane mustang <laughs> fucking rat motherfucker could you imagine you suck at tuning and to take us off the map okay okay check this out so you suck at tuning you suck at customer service you suck at whatever lund racing just happens to be better than you and you can't contend with that so you're gonna try to get us gone which happened twice <whistles> twice pit it up against some other company again That'll all be talked about if this shit goes downhill. Names will be named. So, instead of you being better, okay, you rat and shit happens. And let's say, for instance, a lot of tuners go down. But you stay afloat. Now, all those people that were used to top-notch service, top-notch tuning, great drivability, fast turnaround times, record-setting times go to you and you suck the fattest veiniest dick at tuning and everybody knows it yo he's the only one left he sucks i was always with him i was always with that guy now i went to him he fucking sucks no wonder he no what maybe he's the rat so you gotta be better if you're not better and we go away and the customers go to you and you still suck, they're going to find out you suck and you'll have less customers because no one's going to go to you. They'll buy Priuses. They'll buy Teslas. They'll buy anything else. They're like, I'm going to get away from this platform. Why is that? The tuner that the last one left sucks because he ratted out everyone else. Rat ass, cheesy, and fuck. I have a mission motor radiator and a 160 thermostat for a 2020 A10. Should my Lund tuner know about this or am I dumb? Yeah, if you have if you have a thermostat mods and stuff like that, uh, let us know. Let us know. Um, and we'll see if anything needs to happen. But typically, it's a mechanical thing. It just opens sooner and it allows the fluid in sooner and it makes your engine run cooler. So technically, you don't need any changes. But if the fans need to come on sooner, we might be able to fuck with that. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> someone's lining the windows with tinfoil. What's happening? Uh, <laughs> this is amazing, says Brabite. Lun Hater checking in. What's up, Boosted Coyote? Lun Hater. How you doing, brother? Uh, Lun gonna have my stock MTD2 going 899 this year. We'll see. Radio versus the world, more like Lun versus the world. Line it up. Line it up. Lun equals beach o be bitch Otez. <laughs> Here's a name. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Look, I don't name names because I don't have verification of anything. But if anyone I find out is a rat motherfucker, you're going to get called out publicly. And I didn't think this channel had reach. Right? I had no idea what kind of reach this show specifically has. I thought, ah, 600 guys show up and ghost watch it. No. What I say reverberates to the Chevy tuning world, the Dodge Honda guys watch this shit because I'm like the only guy in the industry that's willing to talk some shit while give you some tech talk at the same time. And I'm telling you, shit goes down. <laughs> you all coming down with me. Whoa! If I can't tune, you can't tune. Listen, if I can't tune, you can't tune. So, if you want to get us or me gone, get ready because I'm going to get you gone. I'm going to make it my life's mission to get motherfuckers gone. Because if I go, you go. I'm coming down with me. Fuck that. Grab you by the fucking hair. Woo, we're coming. Fuck all that. <laughs> uh, why all the Lun haters be watching on the low? The Lun haters watch on the low because imagine watching every Bulls game to hope Jordan loses. And the motherfucker keeps it in the shot. They give him the ball. 
Five. Damn. Fuck the Bulls. I'm sick of winning. It's like people that watch Tom Brady just so that he loses. Then the motherfucker at 800 years old fucking wins his 800th uh, uh, Super Bowl. And you're like, I'm sick of the winning. I'm sick of the winning. Jerry Maguire, who's coming with me? You can't handle the tune. <laughs> Very good, KC526. Hey, Alejandro, want to give a recap? What's happening? Why are you saying if Lund goes down? Really? Really? I'm. These are all hypotheticals. Okay, listen. It, unless you listen from the beginning, you can't come into the show halfway and take what I'm saying under any decent context. Okay, what I'm saying is there's been rumors. As far as I know, everything's good. I've been tuning. There is no issue. But... Like I said, the administration and the and everything is looking like it's going electric. And I talked about that on the peasant chat. So if the performance and racing industry doesn't lobby and, and, you know, say, hey, man, you know, this is a huge industry where people have a careers and lives and families are fed through this uh, performance and racing industry. Not just us. I'm saying everything. It's part suppliers, tuners, uh, computer guys, calibration guys, software guys. You know, the, it's a huge company. Or it's a huge industry. And you can't just like flick a switch just because of feelings. You know, you got to have actual verifiable data. Um, but what I was saying is in a world where tuners just disappear, um, what are you going to do? What do you do if tuning in general, like happened to the diesel guys, just disappears? Well, you're, you're pretty fucked. You got to either get a carburetor and put it on shit or, or whatever. But then I said there are, there are some rat fucks that try to fuck with Lund Racing. There are some rat cheesy in the seriously sharp cabot. Not the soft, mild shit. The seriously sharp cabot. The shit that hits the roof of your mouth and you're like, mmm, rat eating motherfuckers. Those guys want us gone because they want to be the, the, the top dog in town. And the problem is, let's say that happens, then everyone goes to you and they find out you suck. You still suck. It's just more people are going to find out you suck if anything happens to the big dogs. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Why do you call my man full bolt on? <laughs> Can lend to my Miata. Alex always spits that real talk. Stay up, big homie. Stay blessed. Look, a lot of people take what I say as if it's like official Lund. No, this is my shit, my opinion. If Lund has something to say, they can say it on their own, their own stuff. This is my opinion on stuff opinion and a lot of people go whoa alex speaks for lund no i don't john lund speaks for lund they are lund i work for them and i rep them and i have their fucking backs and i know there's a lot of rat motherfuckers out there that do nothing but take shots they never do it in person they never pull up they never show themselves isn't there something in court that says you you, you should face your accuser because, you know, you shouldn't be able to hide under some kind of whistleblower status. I think anyone that rats or anyone that does, does has an, acu an accusation or something, I should be able to face them in person. That won't happen. Just waiting on Al Gore to chime in. <laughs> the planet has a fever. Let me get on my jet real quick. Whoosh. Land on my yacht. Get on my Rolls Royce. Goes to the conference. The planet has a fever. Get the fuck out of here. That ZL1 ain't shit. Okay. Uh, boosted cars matter. Uh, my shit better blow back black smoke. If tuning goes away, then fuck it. Roll coal. What he says is official YOLO. Exactly. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Alex, since you're good at searching what buy supplies can I use on an 18.5 wheel? <laughs> oh, fuck. Phoenix 18 inch bias ply. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it took uh, two seconds. Uh, you, you, you lazy ass motherfucker. <clears throat> there you go. MH Race Master front runners, tires. And then if you want to try the Phoenix, these are 17s. Um, these are 15s. These are. There you go. Bias ply. Oh gosh, these have like no tread. And what are these? 18 inch drag front, 28, four and a half, 18 inch drag front part number. This is an MNH Rage Master. It's a MSS 025. And this one is a from Lethal Performance. So if you want to hit them up for closed course competition, da 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 da. It's a Hoosier 18112. So Hoosier 18112, 18 inch, or a MNH MSS 025. You're fucking welcome. My God, you lazy fuck. 
the right that the right to face your accuser. I'd love to face. But I've I've never been to court. Um, there is a right to face your accuser. So I don't think it's okay hypothetically if someone rats someone out that they should be able to hide under some whistleblower status bullshit. Fuck that. Why the change from Engage to SET to back to HP? What do you mean back to HP? What do you mean back to HP, Spencer Manning? Spencer Manning, what do you mean back to HP? What are you talking about? What do you mean back? This is the this is the first time we officially fuck with uh, HP tuners. Officially. It was SCT and Engage forever. The Engage was not an HP tuners. Engage it was a standalone product that you can load HP tuners software or load racing software. But now it's gone. It's gone. <clears throat> if the industry goes down, Alex, will you tune on the side? Fuck no. Come on. <laughs> Me tune on the side? That would be ridiculous. I mean, I, the risk, the risk is ridiculous. So like an NA tune would probably be $3,000. <laughs> no. But to go to jail? Fuck all that. SEMA is not nearly as involved as it needs to be. The SEMA Action Network should be leading the fight, but when's the last time you talked to someone there? SCT Performance, SEMA, and whoever else, PRI or whoever. Where are you on this? Deadly silent. You're just saying, oh, this is what the government wants. How about lobby for us? Lobby for the performance. Tuning goes away. Parts go away. You know that. Tuning goes away. Parts go away. Because you can't. Well, what do you do? What do you do? Did you eat ass or something? Is that why you said pennies to Chech? <laughs> that is Brandon to Arita. Look, fix your fucking driveway, millionaire. Sell that stupid plane you have and fix your fucking driveway. That's what needs to happen right now, bitch. KC526 says, Brett Berg, what up? Did Mustang Lifestyles get a tune from Wish or something? <laughs> is Spencer talking some shit? Where's Spencer? I see Spencer talking some shit. What happened? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Raul Rodriguez. No, no, no. Spencer didn't say shit. Is there a way to calculate? Okay. Derek Davis says. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I, I missed I missed a bunch of uh, questions. Sorry. Um, 19 F-150. 19 F-150 says Travis Hoosman. Uh, best option for boost. I do tow about 3,500 pounds. Occasionally, that would be the best route. Pro Charger, Paxton, E-Force, Whipple, VMP. You want to make 575, 600. Well, um, you want to, if you're going to tow, you're going to want something that doesn't make a lot of torque. So I would do a centrifugal, or if you do a top mount, meet you mean like a, a, a Edelbrock or a Whipple or an Odin, super low boost. You shouldn't tow with a TVS or something like that, or a, a, a blower, on, uh, a blower like a positive displacement blower. Um, a turbo, and you could just keep it on gate and drive around and then turn it up later, or a Paxson or a Pro Charger so that boost isn't really high at low RPMs. As shaking my head, seems like you might need a banner on your videos. The views expressed here are not the opinions of Lund Racing. Laughing my ass off. Like, seriously. Like, where is it? Do I have a banner here? Hold on. Scrolling text. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see. The views expressed here are of your YDBT and no one else? Wait. Views expressed here are not the opinions of Lund Racing and solely of YDBT. Bicho. Bicho. <laughs> Bicho. There we go. So, okay. And now we make it bam. There we go. The views expressed here are of YDBT and Soli? Is that how you spell Soli? S-O-L-E-Y? I'm shitty at spelling. There's a s s s yes. Oh, Soli. Oh, gosh. I spelled it all wrong. Soli. I, I forgot an L. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bam. Bam. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. Got some text and everything. Just in case. Um, <clears throat> Ditch the X4 for HP. That's your call, Johnny Boy. I'm not going to tell you to ditch or add anything at the moment. I cannot tell you anything at the moment. I need more information on both ends to make sure if you if we think a switch is for you. Someone buy my lightly used ID 1700X. Fits 07 to 14 GT500. Alex, can you make your Spotify playlist public? I don't have Spotify. I don't have Spotify. I don't I don't use Spotify. Solely. <laughs> So solely, it said it said it's spelled different. Look at this. 
Look at, uh, I think you guys don't know how to spell. Check it out. Here, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 1080, 1080 monitor. Check it out. As the only ones are ones. So it's S O L E L Y. And there's some kid looking at the word. Let me see. Let me hear it. Solely. There you go. One more time. Solely. One more time. Solely. Solely. <laughs> Oh, it's bullshit. <laughs> I was like, solely, bud. And guess what? You're wrong. You're wrong. You're all wrong. Every one of you is wrong. $5, Buster. Thank you, Donnie, for the five bucks. I appreciate you. Is there a way to calculate upper and lower pulley combos for a Gen 5 Whipple? Try Googling, but I guess I'm too stupid. Derek Davis, you're going to have to call Whipple. How much boost does a 3.5 with a 20% make? You're going to have to call Whipple on that. Um, my man dropped the books and picked up an engage. <laughs> Both cards going to Texas this year. Both cards, the gray goose and the blue goose. I don't know. I mean, I know, but I don't know. I know, but I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I don't know. Uh, how do I make my 16204 Ford Fusion fast? You sell it for a Mach-E GT electric. That's the way of the future or a Tesla Model 3 performance. Google Translate. You got it correct, bro. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> someone is watching the chat, feeling salty as fuck while eating spoonfuls of Miracle Whip. Uh, it's spelled fuck Biden. <laughs> you got to have soul slowly. They're, they're on Marketplace. Hey, Alex, is your GT500 on 85 and how long do you let it sit? I want to go 85, but my car does sit a lot due to not daily driving at work from home. Every car I have has the 85 except the white car. And the cars sometimes sit a month at a time. I turn them on, vroom, and the trims are good, meaning it's 85% ethanol. Not a problem. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, sorry. Uh, ben Callum hits me up as if I don't have a life. Uh, how do I... <laughs> what was the name of that new tune device from HP? It is called the RTD, the Remote Tuning Device. Uh, why not tow with the TVS? I thought you would want torque down low. Let me... Think about that. What happens if you're at 2,000 RPMs towing something heavy and your truck makes 10 pounds of boost on pump gas and you put 91 in it? Tell me what happens. Alex, did you hear about the NFL player that got arrested street racing in Houston? No, I did not. Thoughts about driving with traction control off on the third gen 5.0? No issue. As long as you don't hit any rain or snow, you're good to go. Yeah, I drive the car like once a month and it's on 85. No issues. Exactly. Maybe it was uh, someone else who ratted. Man, I don't think any, but I don't think any tuner ratted anything. I think this has been a process that's been around for five plus years. If everyone gets knocks on the doors, if you are in the performance and racing industry, you're going to get a knock. You're going to get a knock. So, so it doesn't matter if you deplete your supply, you change shit. You're going to get a knock. That's, that, that's, what's gonna, that's the future. I told you guys Saturday that's the future. Okay. But the rumors swirling around that like they took the cars, they took the laptop. I got everything. I got everything. You got nothing. Uh, Nate Ryder has a killer Mustang. <laughs> Load equals knock, says Chris Schiff. No, the rat is actually the dude in blue. He's definitely not a rat. Good morning, good morning, a coyote. Uh, bumble swipes, right? We're almost, I was about to say, should we do some bumble swipes? Everyone's like, what's a bumble swipe? Wow. The comments on here make me want to drink E98 till my balls fall off. Name another tuning company that got planes and helicopters. Oh, wait. Name another tuning company that got planes and helicopters. Bit. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Second shift racing. I bought a clapped out Fox body. Leaning towards a cheaper nitrous coyote build with a stick. What transmission would you be looking at to thrash around? Now, the, is it the 3650 that came in three valves? Is the three valve transmission uh, 3650, right? I think it's 3650. That one's decent. I've had a lot of guys that want a manual put a, 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 a built, like Hanlon Motorsport or Ben Calmer built 3650, I think it is, five speed, and they're actually pretty damn good. Instead of going, you know, TKO 500, TKO 600, T5, A5, Astro 5, 3650 is pretty good. Can you tune my Learjet? No. <laughs> Tiger Woods needs a tune for his wheelchair. Tiger Woods flipped his shit. He flipped his, um, flipped his, uh, what the fuck was it? He flipped his, uh, Range Rover, right? 
uh, here we go. Check out, check out Homeboy. Stupid, you fucking stupid ass motherfucker. You know what happened to Homeboy? Let me see if I could open this real quick. Yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, open up. Open up, open up. So Tiger Woods flipped his shit the other day. Look at this. Look at this stupid motherfucker. You're a billionaire. He's flipping your shit. How do you do that? How do you do that, Tiger Woods? Tiger, how do you do that? Look at his whole life came out of the fucker. Luggage. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. He has cat deletes. <gasps> I think someone put a hit out on him. <laughs> look at that. His whole life. Look at you. I, you know what? I think that's what happened. There was a hit for cat deletes. <laughs> so be careful, guys. <laughs> There was a hit on out Tiger Woods. Hopefully he's okay. Hopefully he pulls through. He's in surgery. I don't really mean to make fun of him, but you know, guys are billionaire flipping fucking Range Rovers or whatever that is. What's going on with you, bro? Oh man, what is happening? Uh, my general illuminator has okay. How's four ten gears with six fifty rubber horsepower with three seventy three be better? Oh yeah, auto or manual? Daniel Z thoughts about driving with traction control on or said that. Um, my Gen 1 Illuminator has bottom end knock looking at any options for replacement. What's the info on the motor build on the Fairmont? Rods and pistons, sleeve motor, stock cam, stock heads. Just rods and pistons. <clears throat> Mustang guys will buy electric Mustangs once they realize you can add loudspeakers that you can play ghost cam tunes through. There will be fake shifts and V8 engine sounds. Mark my words. It's Yeah, it's already verified. Even the EcoBoost RS Focus has like fake ass sounds, I think. Tiger Flip, the new Genesis SUV. That's a Genesis SUV? Boy, he ain't doing that good if he got the Genesis SUV. Tiger didn't expect that much power from the full bolt on power, baby. Uh, free flowing exhaust. Nose candy. Tiger was like, frick. Tiger was like, <laughs> Tiger was like, oh no. Well, oh, I, I fucked it up. <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm, I'm taking a right. A. Oh, hold on, hold on. A. Oh, too much power. A. Oh, a. let me take a sniff of this. A. Oh, what's happening with this? A. Oh, I'm overcorrecting. Freaking A. <laughs> Last words of Tiger Woods. Freaking A. Tiger had dirt on Hillary. Right. He deleted the DOD AFM on the on the rover. Manual trans using the bias fly tires. Genesis SUV. I hate cars. Another porn star takes him down. Tiger Woods came in a little too high power. <laughs> you know, Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods was like, oh man, this this thing's fucking badass. Oh, okay, you coming a little too high oh, power. <laughs> And then, the, and then the truck was like, What the fuck? What's up, nigga? Hey. <laughs> what other tuner gives you this kind of entertainment? What is wrong with you people? Why the fuck are you watching anyone else? Best channel on the fucking internet, bro. Uh, <laughs> Gabriel Lozano, would you buy your black car back if you can? Yeah. Yeah. That car has also sentimental value. If I could have two cars, it'd be the Fairmont and the black car. I drove the Fairmont a lot the other day. That thing drove great. Just needs now it needs um now it needs uh air conditioning. It'd be fucking mitt. It'd be fucking mitt. It's fucking mitt. Uh Tiger got blown off in the weeds. <laughs> the animal he did. Tiger was blowing them off in the weeds. Fast rider, the animal treed you. DP saw Tiger Woods and had no cats and called in the hit. Zoo! Drone strike on that motherfucker. Yeah, we were reporting some pipes exhaust. Pipes exhaust! Zoo! Woo! The views expressed here on YDBT are solely YDBT, Bicho, not of anyone else. Uh, I guess I'm just fucking pussy for not driving with traction control off, Ashton Holt. Tiger hanging out with Snoop all day and then went for Munchies Drive. Bumble Swipes, 2000 MCR. Um, max horsepower torque on a stock 2012 GT500 with 1340 Swap, 850. No higher than that. Actually, even 800. Yeah, but 850, uh, you're really, uh, it's, you know, it's about to go. Anything over 800, it uh, can go. Tiger was planning golf, playing golf, and Hyundai was sponsoring the event. They let him drive the new Genesis SUV. Might have been. They're actually pretty quick. So you got to be careful with them shits. And a stick. Um, of course, a blow my ass mufflers blew Tigers off on the road. Tiger was getting blown off in the weeds. Tiger fucked the wrong white bitch this time. Alex, you probably answered this, but will you do a walkthrough on the new RTD? If the RTD becomes a thing, and we obviously have it on the site, I think Lund Racing in an official capacity will give you a rundown of the RTD and I'll do my best to give you tips and tricks on how to use it in a car. Um, but I think if we do offer it, 
with the help of HP Tuners and, and, and Lund Racing themselves, we're going to go ahead and make sure that we give you all the information we can on that unit before we actually start uh, selling it to the customers. Cat delete equals life delete. Laughing my ass off. They, they, they cook it for us. They cook it for us. Tiger's half Asian. You know how they drive. Oof, that's a good one. Getting blown off in the weeds fully makes sense to me. TN says, I just bought a 17 supercharged Roush F-150. That's okay. Not worried about speed, but if I get a Luntune, will it help long-term reliability? Thanks. Love the channel. Help long-term reliability. It won't hurt, but I, I don't think that'll help. If you want to keep it reliable, keep the stock Roush tuning it and ride out for 150,000 miles. If you want a little more power, a little more oomph, a little more firmer uh, shifts, more firmer because double, um, we're, we're a good option, but I don't think it'll help reliability. I don't think it'll hurt it. I don't think it'll help it. Nice Rice Evil says, play squabble and high power, please. Channel support, brother. I did. I did, man. I mean, I, I already did. Oh, shit. I'm going to fuck this up. I'm going to fuck this up. I changed the whole thing. What the fuck? What's up, nigga? Hey. You want to squabble? Hey. <laughs> and then two. Check this out. Oh, okay, you're coming a little too high. Oh, no, no, no. There you go. And then you slurp on a, when, you, when you're when you going to get that grapefruit blowjob. <laughs> and you get the Price is Right theme at the same time. <laughs> But he still has no idea what you're doing. So what you want to tell your man to do is this. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna get out of here on that note. It's been an hour and a half. <laughs> oh my god, Cal Brandon dropping his nuts! By the way. By the way. Did you see that I must have banged a chick so good that my nuts ended up being tattooed on her chest on Instagram? Did y'all see that? I'm about to take you there, and that will end the show on that, and then I'll read Kyle Brandon's comment. But did you see? <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> Where is it? Where's my story? There we go. Bam. Wait, how do you hold it? Oh, shit. How do you hold it? There we go. Check out. Check out. Some chick, I must have banged her real good, that she went as far as to put my nuts. Let me see though. Can we see the post? Oh! <laughs> That's actually pretty accurate. Alejandro must have laid the bitch a tassel down. And the girl was like, I want to remember this shit forever. Alejandro, Ale Alejandro. Kyle Brandon says, hope all is well with you, Alex, and everyone here in the chat. Kyle Brandon in the house. Love you. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going to get out of here because it's been one of those shows that I try to quell the rumors down. We're operating, you know, again, if anything does happen, wait to hear from Lund Racing. Let everyone talk all the shit. Let the rat fucks do what rat fucks do. No problem. But if you have, if anything does happen, guys, you're going to hear from us first and try to, you know, not really go into the rumor mill because what happens? First of all, like if I tripped and fell, people, he tripped and fell and died, tripped and fell on a dick, tripped and sucked the dick. You know, the, the story just gets bigger and bigger. And unless you hear from the horse's mouth, you shouldn't really uh, take anything uh, into consideration unless you hear from us. But as far as we know, everything is good. We're tuning, we're operating. If anything changes that, we'll let you know before anything. And then for those of you that saw the RTD product on the website, stay tuned for that. And for those of you that follow me on that dating channel, you know, you know what's coming for those of you that follow me on that dating channel, right? Thanks a lot. Fuck you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Fucking idiot. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for listening. One of the better shows I've done in a long time. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the dating channel tomorrow. See you.